number one deal for me right out of the gate was to get some cover out here for the deer because, you know, being around Toxie and, and the guys at Biologic, I, I can figure out somehow how to get the food in, but they got to have food, water, and cover. And if they ain't got all three, they're not going to be here. So we've been working on it about four years and it's really starting to take shape. These pines right here are about four years old and it's pretty amazing because I mean that, that pine tree right there is almost 14 feet tall and uh, they're probably at their prime for bedding area right now. You know, there's plenty of thick stuff up underneath there and I never go in them. You know, every, especially it's real important on small places like this to have sanctuary because if man, you stomp them through there and start running the deer out two or three times, they're gonna move or go somewhere else. I got a lot of persimmon trees out here, which I love because they're great to bow hunt around and every single one of them is on a fence rope. And you know the birds, there was some persimmon tree somewhere and the birds eat those persimmons and they go sit on the fence post and uh, they'll drop their waist right there and all of a sudden you got persimmons and they're all along these fence posts. Well that tree right there is the magnum, this is a magnum persimmon tree, it's loaded. This is one of them spots I was talking about, I'll just kind of ease up in here, even when it's not hunting season, and kind of look down through the bottom. You know, that's one of the few patches of little hardwoods I got, and there's two big acorn trees, and that persimmon tree's loaded every year. It's just hanging, but they hadn't started dropping yet, but it's one of them spots where, man, if you can't be at peace when you ease up in there and sit down, or back up in here and just turn around and look that way, I feel sorry for you. It's one of my favorite spots. I've been keeping a close eye on that one. They hadn't started dropping, but any any day now, because they're red and orange about that big, and we hadn't had much bad weather, the first rainstorm and wind, they coming down, and I'm going to be sitting up in there about 20 yards. I know deer love, I call it green briars, just briars with those green leaves on it. And you can see how dark and green that is, and this is, the end of summer, uh, but I fertilize that, like February, March, I'll bring that fertilizer bug over, you can just, I just threw triple 13 on it. But you can see how tall it is on the edges, because that's where I throw the fertilizer, uh, the deer can get to it, and that's one of their staple things to eat around here. Well, this is, uh, kind of average size oaks when we planted these seedlings they were literally that tall and this one's I guess four years old now they're cherry bark and shumar oak all these were planted by hand this was a kind of a wet area down here pretty close to a little duck hole we're fixing but all these were planted by hand and you look at the pine trees that were planted at the same time they're like 12 10 15 feet tall and you think man these oak trees ain't gonna make it but they just grow slow but uh, and I probably won't be here when they get mature and start dropping some acorns, but you know, somebody will, and it'll be a, a great place to come bow hunt or, you know, just plenty of mass for the deer and the turkeys and all that. We're kind of getting close to the south side of where my property ends, but you know, there's woods on that way. So I got a bunch of them like this. I think we planted 1,200 of them and uh, come down here and check on them. Me and my granddaughter, every time she comes, she says, let's go check on the trees, Pop, because she was little when they were planted. Now that's a interesting tree right there. That's a, that's, a, that's a hybrid between a Japanese and an American persimmon. Japanese persimmons get real big, but they're sour. And American persimmons are small, but they're sweet. And Dr. Mariscalco, he's a famous eye surgeon down in Meridian, Mississippi. He gave me that tree right there. and. Uh, I planted a couple of years ago, and unfortunately it was kind of droughty, but I got a cage around it. It's getting up there pretty big now, and it's supposed to drop a big persimmon. And there's an oak tree right there and another persimmon around that corner. So one of these days, I hope when that persimmon tree is big and dropping, I'm going to have a lock on up there and have a grandson sitting up in there with a bow and arrow, but keeping a close eye on that one right there. Kind of fun to do that.